Hi guys, nice to meet you here again. So I suppose this part will be quite short, but uh, very important. So we will start uh, talking about the aviation rules. Uh, let's uh, go briefly uh, through specific of uh, the flight rules and we'll start with the VFR. With visual flight rules, the basic rules and uh, VFR rules are applicable only in visual meteorological conditions, VMC, we call it VMC. Apparently, uh, those uh, rules are applicable only in daytime. You can fly under VFR only in daytime. And also, with some additional rules, you can fly under VFR with night qualification. Uh, the next part is IFR, Instrument Flight Rules. This is the next step of the rules you can uh, use, you can fly under. Uh, so you have to, what do you have actually to fly under VFR, uh, under IFR, I'm sorry. So to fly under VFR, you have to fly under Instrument Meteorological Conditions, IMC, and pilot have to have uh, instrument rating. Also aircraft has to be has to be sorry certified for uh, IFR for instrument flights. And uh, of course a flight plan must be accepted. So but we are not uh, talking we are not going to discuss a lot about IFR because our aim is uh, to get uh, PPL uh, which we basically fly start to fly with VMC. So, VMC is uh, the conditions that uh, we can fly under using our VFR rules. And uh, VMC conditions depends on the class of the airspace. Also, uh, VMC conditions could be uh, related to the flight level or the altitude of the flight, uh, flight visibility. Uh, so, there is a kind of definition of flight visibility. Uh, the forward visibility from the flight deck of the airplane. Uh, also, it has uh, the condition of distance, horizontal or vertical from the clouds. Uh, let's uh, check briefly or VMC minimums in uh, uh, some airspace classes. We will talk thoroughly about airspace classes later. Uh, let's just uh, try to remember uh, what uh, VMC we have which are the conditions we have for different uh, airspaces. So for airspace classes from A to E, except F and G, uh, we have the following meteorological conditions minimums. So vertical clearance of clouds 1000 feet, as we can see. Horizontal clearance of the clouds 1 kilometer 500 meters. So depends on the altitude of the flight. So below flight level 100. The horizontal visibility should be uh, at least 5 kilometers, and uh, above flight level 100, the flight visibility has to be 8 kilometers or more. So, what is the uh, VMC uh, minimums in the uncontrolled airspaces like F and G? So, cloud clearance uh, will be the same, vertical clearance of the clouds will be 1000 feet, the same, horizontal clearance the clouds again 1 kilometer 500 meters and uh, the horizontal visibility will remain the same 5 kilometers or more for altitudes below flight level 100 and uh, 8 kilometers or more of the horizontal visibility for altitude at flight level 100 and above uh, there is one more exception for uncontrolled airspace uh, when flying near the terrain. So uh, the, on the altitude below 3000 feet or below 1000 feet above terrain places, uh, so the flight visibility should be at least 5 kilometers and uh, clear of cloud and with sight of the surface. So let's switch to the special VFR, visual flight rules. You can fly under special VFR if you get clearance of the ATC, Air Traffic Control Unit. And uh, you also uh, have to uh, comply with the speed limit of uh, 140 knots when you fly under special VFR. And uh, you also have to 
uh, stay clear of clouds, you always have to see the surface. Surface should be inside. So in this case, under special VFR, flight visibility reduced it uh, to a minimum uh, 1,500 meters or 800 meters in the case if you fly on the helicopter. So, uh, the more complicated uh, case, the night VMC, uh, visual meteorological conditions. So again, uh, uh, you have to fly under minimums like uh, 8 kilometers of the horizontal visibility in case uh, if you fly in route and 5 kilometers uh, in case if you fly uh, at the aerodrome traffic zone. Clearance of clouds should be the same. Uh, vertical clearance of clouds 1000 feet and horizontal is uh, uh, 100, 1500 meters. Sorry. And there is one more exception uh, for mountain area. In that case you have kind of uh, extended limits of uh, the flight altitude and uh, uh, minimum cloud ceiling. So minimum cloud ceiling will, will be 3000 above ground level and uh, minimum flight altitude will be uh, 2000 uh, feet AGL. And otherwise uh, if you fly uh, in a normal area, not mountain, the cloud ceiling will be 2000 feet uh, above ground level and the minimum flight altitude will be 1000 AGL above ground level. So, uh, in, in case if you fly night, VMC, uh, night VFR, uh, you have to uh, always maintain sight of the surface when flying at uh, 3000 feet above mean sea level or 1000 feet uh, above terrain, which is higher. And also you have to establish and maintain two-way radio communication with your ATC. So now let's uh, talk briefly about takeoff and landing minimums. So you can uh, take off and land and, at your aerodrome in case if, you, if uh, meteorological conditions comply with uh, the following minimums. So cloud ceiling is a minimum uh, not less than uh, 1500 feet above ground level and uh, ground visibility at the vicinity of the aerodrome uh, not less than 5 kilometers. So let's switch to our uh, ATC clearance. Uh, the basic rules related to uh, how you have to inform air traffic control units about your arrival or transition through the uh, controlled uh, zones. So first of all you have to inform ATC unit for your arrival or transit uh, at least for three minutes before entering uh, CTR or TMA boundary in D class. And also you have to inform your uh, ATC uh, when you are going to depart in the controlled aerodrome uh, before three minutes of uh, commencing of the taxi. So next uh, basic rules about uh, the flying under VFR is the minimum height. So when you fly uh, on uncongested areas where there are no towns, uh, no gathering of people, so the minimum height of the flight will be uh, 500 feet of the surface, AGL, above ground level. And you also have to uh, keep yourself away of any obstacle in the distance and or a height of in 500 feet. And uh, when you fly uh, over the congested areas, you have to keep the clearance in 1000 feet above the highest obstacle in 600 meters of the border of the congested area, like town or some gathering of people, village and etc. And also you have to consciously choose your height uh, when you fly over congested area. You have to choose the proper altitude to have enough time to the emergency landing in case if you uh, have some kind of, for example, engine failure. You have to keep the altitude uh, enough to fly without engine of the obvious congested area.
and uh, perform the emergency flight, uh, emergency landing. Uh, so that's it. Those was um, basic rules of VFR. And uh, the next video will be will be more complicated, and we will talk about the air spaces, uh, the uh, VFR rules related to the uh, flying in different air spaces. Thank you very much. See you next time.